Hey everybody, hope that you're having a beautiful day. My name is Robin. For people that don't know me already, thanks so much for coming on here and uh, watching this video. I have a program coming up starting on Monday that I'm really, really excited about. So um, we have a Facebook, private Facebook group running already. So if you are already a part of that, then it's time to start um, sharing on that group and uh, starting to explore some things that you would like to attract in the group, etc. Um, if you can hear me okay, let me know. So this is a perfect opportunity to um, get some healing benefits and understand some of the things that I do on a deeper level. So each call that we do is 45 minutes and it's at 6.15 Atlantic Standard Time. And so um, that's something that if you're, even if you're all the way in Australia, because we have someone from Australia in our group, you can still make it. So I'm making it um, so that the time kind of can work with everyone if you have kids, etc. And so if you have something going on currently where I am offering readings during this and theta healing and some meditations, if you have something going on, and then I can kind of use you as an example um, and we can do some do some clearings and readings for you guys so everybody can get some insight as to like what theta healing is. Again, if you have questions in relation to this, now would be the time. Someone was just inboxing me things and I said to hop onto the live so you can ask there or same with if you um, are going to be joining us and really take advantage of the fact that we have Facebook support and groups because when one person says something to me inboxing, it's not the same as publicly because then so many more people are going to get benefits, okay? So um, we're going to start with Monday's energy, which is, is toxic energy. And so we're going to do some theta healing based on um, toxic energy. So if anybody has a toxic situation, a toxic person, anything that they consider um, toxic, feel free to share. And again, we'll do some clearing around you specifically and anyone else that wants to download all you have to do is say yes so the way that it works is um, you literally don't have to do anything except just do your best to be in the moment okay and so the more present we can be the more able we are to connect to where things are coming from when they're coming up so for instance if nobody says anything that they want to share I can use myself as an example. I was just over on my Robin's Healing doing the same thing, so but I'm going to do it differently because we have different people. And that also shows you how we can kind of do the exact same theme, but it's going to be completely different because different people bring on different energies, right? Okay, so I'm going to use an ex-boyfriend example. Um, so my ex-boyfriend, <laughs> oh, where to begin? They're always an ex for a reason. And again, the words that I'm sharing are going to make sense. Um, to the people that it's meant to make sense to. But so he would, um, he would be the type of person where like he could, he could work more, but he chose not to. Okay. So um, it was interesting because this is how we get into the stories and we want to, Theta Healing helps us get out of our story and really get into the emotions and the thoughts and beliefs around these things. And then it's my job to kind of like pull and release that for you. So you can start vibrating what it is that you want instead of hanging out in this, in this old energy. So this might mean past life if you believe in that. Um, this might be something that you're hearing around that's genetic from um, family and people who have kind of like put these beliefs onto you or you were just kind of like born with it um, on a historical level. So like these common beliefs that everybody is kind of just following, like social norms, things like that. Um, and it might be just like something that you, you just like, um, it's just like, it's almost at your core. So meaning um, it's just like something that's just like feels like embedded in you and um, it, it feels permanent, but it's, but it's not. And so that's kind of what I help you with is understanding that these things aren't permanent at all. You don't have to keep thinking the same way. You don't have to keep believing in the same things if it's not serving you. But there are good things that you probably want to start feeling and um, attracting into your life. And that's the beautiful thing about this process is that it really helps balance us and bring more positive things in, especially with relationships that relationships we thought would never change. And so this usually can bring up um, especially toxic energy, not just family, but um, parents 
that there might have been things that have happened to you when you know you were told you couldn't do something or you can't have something and how you felt around that or maybe you were taught not to cry or not to speak or that money doesn't grow on trees and all of these different beliefs makes sense comprende let me know if this makes sense Hopefully you can hear me okay. I don't see anybody commenting. So, okay. So he could have, to, in my opinion, he could have, he had opportunities to work, but he would like be like, no, I think I'm just going to kind of like um, hang out instead of like actually work. Um, so, but what was interesting was those were his choices, his beliefs, his whatever, but he would give me a hard time when I was like going to school full time. I was in a like, um, um, a business program, like a 40 week business program through the Center for Entrepreneurship, Education and Development. Um, so I was basically like not really supposed to be going to school full time. Actually, I was taking six courses instead of five. And um, thank you for listening anyway. Um, and also, so he was giving me a hard time about like me not working when I was like going to school extremely like over like too much almost like burnout plus um i was in this full-time business program so it's actually like pretty much like doing like we'll say like two degrees at the same time like i was at dell and smu that sort of thing plus i was i was running a business so to me that was really extreme but it was like he would be negative towards me and i felt like obviously he's like maybe like projecting that energy onto me about maybe the fact that he's not working or how he feels about himself, maybe because I'm doing a lot. I don't know. But um, so this, that's my story. Okay. So that's what will kind of happen is when we think about a situation and again, you can share one for yourself if you want to. Um, but it was toxic. It was unhealthy because I felt like he was like, you know, I was judging him and he was judging me. So whether he was projecting his energy onto me or whatever, it was a situation that happened and I'm not in that situation anymore, but it's always coming up for a reason. And what a lot of people will say is like, oh, like they'll bring up their ex-wife or something, but then they're like, oh no, I don't need to clear that because I mean, I've already dealt with that. And then they, I think they start to realize, no, you're bringing this up because you're remembering, recalling this to release it and to let it go. You would not be speaking about it if it were something like that you were have already dealt with and that's where I think a lot of people get confused is like if it's kind of obvious sometimes to other people when they're discussing something it's like okay this is obviously in your energy field but they might think oh no I'm just talking about it so just keep that in mind whatever comes up for us like it's coming up for a reason it's coming up so it can come out so we don't have to analyze that at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice some theta healing because this is what we're going to be doing on the 25th um, in our group setting. And so if you have situations, we're going to be removing that it's going to come up in different ways. So I'm going to, I'm going to basically say, would you like to release? And you're just going to ground. Would you like to release any toxic energies, toxic people, toxic things that have happened in your life? So whatever that triggered for you when I was sharing the story or whatever toxic situation that even right now you want to come, come up and think about, um, Kevin says he needed more attention. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> so would you like to release like whatever your toxic situation is that that comes up for you right now? You don't have to share it or you can because if you share it, it's going to be more real for you. Um, and that's things sometimes we get scared to speak or share when that's actually what puts it into the reality. And so it's really, really um, empowering to be able to do that for yourself. So and do you want to also know moving forward that it's safe to connect more to um, your own feelings and your own thoughts instead of focusing on everybody else's thoughts and feelings and just know that it's okay to like be in your own energy field, be connected to yourself, you, yourself and I, and absolutely love the healing that comes from being just in your own energy, 100%. And if so, say yes. And these are what's coming up is like that they're kind of like teaching moments um, as well. Like when we go to help other people, when we go and, and discuss certain things, even if it's just a minor thing, like having a conversation, 
I think we just miss how powerful these like just having conversations are about things that have happened to us because a lot of people don't want to put their crap onto other people. They don't want to burden them. And if everybody feels like I don't want to put anything on somebody else, I don't want to burden them with my problems. I don't want to complain. I don't want to be negative. If you don't get that stuff that happened to you up and out, just verbalizing, guess where it's going to stay? Right here, all in here. And it's just going to build up and uh, you're going to feel like you start to get some attention headaches. You might feel like you actually have to control certain things in your life so that you can feel better, that sort of thing, whether this is your weight or, um, you know, your clothes or whatever. It comes out in really weird ways, like your status in the community and how you're being seen and, you know, what people think of you and all this weird stuff. So even though it might seem like this stuff is just like kind of minor, it's actually quite powerful and it is helping a lot of people, which is wonderful. So um, Tuesday is all about manifesting and feeling your energy. So if you want to even do that right now, you can put your hand up to your heart and your other hand on your stomach and just breathing into your own energy right now. And just connecting to your spirit, okay? So whatever that means for you, connecting to your spirit, who you are as a person. And if you look at a future version of you, Feel into that. What does it feel like, future you, five years from now? Do your, if you have kids, your kids are five years older than what they are now. You know, what job are you in? Are you in the same place as you are currently? How much further ahead are you? And again, just feeling into it. What does it feel like to have all of those things? You know, what does your diet consist of? Are you, is that book that you wanted to write already written? Is it published? Are other people reading the book? You know, do you own your own house? Do you have a vacation home? Can you do a hundred push-ups? And just opening up to those possibilities and just like noticing where the mind goes. And in over on Robin's Healing, when I did this, we kind of talked about improving that exercise by adding more pleasure into the situation. So if you can expand your, your mind even more and just add even more things into the picture for you that you love and enjoy for a person. So it could be a potential client for you. It could be, um, you know, you're, you're, getting, you're actually getting along with your mother-in-law in this vision whatever it is for you. So it's just finding that healthy mindset and knowing like in your future, what does this healthy mindset look like? You know, are you worry free? Are you creative? Are you focused, etc. So, and then just coming back into your space. So that's just like a little exercise. Of course, when we do, when we actually like do the group work, we're gonna, we're gonna like get really into this, but right now it's just an example of, of how we can start to begin doing that. And again, you could just take benefits from, from being on here, which is fabulous. I like to rewatch videos um, as I've advanced and kind of like reflect back, but I also like to keep receiving healing downloads and things like that because when I'm a different person, because we evolve really quickly when we want to, which is fabulous if we really embrace that, then we can like re-receive the healing downloads, which is great. And, um, and even change, change some little things with our fill in the blanks or with our visions, okay? So then on the 27th, this will be the day before the full moon, um, we're working on positivity. So we're going to do Akashic Records and EFT. So for people that don't know what Akashic Records are, it's Google for the soul, meaning um, it's, we can go into past, present, and future. And so what I'm able to do is really connect to, connect to that, your records, basically, and you can ask a couple questions and then um, whatever you kind of like need from that, you'll be able to get. So if there's anyone watching that ha wants me to go into their Akashic records, I can. So if, and again, if you have a question, that's going to help. If you don't, that's okay. I can, of course, still help you that way. But this is where we can actually go into the Akashic records and um, do some emotional freedom technique, which is called tapping. Um, we can do past life regression which I did last night, which was amazing. She like 
she loved it and she was like wow like I could tell she was so happy even while, while she was experiencing this because she was really getting a lot out of it um, we can do ancestral healing we can do um, ch inner child work forgiveness work um, like chakra balancing card readings you name it, we can kind of do it, which is really powerful. It's just a really different space to be in. So, um, and again, if nobody is saying anything, then I can just do it on myself, which I am a okay with. And um, let's actually start with the tapping. So I'll go into my Akashic Records, which I'm already in, but just grounding. And what I'm, first thing that I'm getting is the energy of freedom, the importance of that. So let's start doing some tapping on, on the energy of freedom. So I'm going to take my three fingers or four fingers so you can follow along and we're going to tap on the pressure points right here. So I'm going to say, even though I don't feel like 100% myself right now, I fully and completely love myself. Even though I don't feel like the most positive right now, I fully and completely love myself. Even though I feel like sometimes I'm trapped in this physical body that doesn't belong to me, I fully and completely love myself. And then we go to the top of the head and say, oh, trapped in this heavy, um, fat body. <laughs> Feeling so sick all the time. Feeling used and abused, really uncomfortable in my sense of self right now. Poor skin, poor habits, poor eating habits. And then under here, and again, we want to check in between 1 to 10 how we're feeling. So I'm going to go with like a 6, 7, that sort of thing. And then just eating too much junk, watching too much TV, watching too many videos. <laughs> and then under here, feeling like judgmental and feeling sick to my stomach. And then tapping here, feeling like it's hard to get ahead, feeling financially um, negative, feeling like unmotivated. And then where your bra strap is, feeling insecure, feeling stubborn, feeling unhealthy. And then wrist to wrist, feeling trapped, feeling heavy, feeling overweight. Okay. And then we're going to go into the positive. So you might feel like a buzzing sensation, that sort of thing. So it feels like, oh, if you keep repeating this, because we just keep, like, start to feel better and better, um, you almost get like a buzz. And so we're going to tap on the top, feeling secure, feeling confident, feeling stress-free, feeling worry-free. And then here, feeling happy, feeling joyful, feeling motivated, feeling considerate about other people's feelings. Feeling harmony and balance. Feeling happy and joyful with myself. And feeling strong in my leadership skills. Feeling positive and excited about my next steps in my life. Feeling like I make healthy choices and feeling happy and abundant and free. And breathing into that. Feeling secure in my sense of identity, feeling self-assured, feeling gratitude for every little thing. Feeling happy with myself, feeling reassured, feeling comfortable in my skin, feeling healed. Feeling affectionate and feeling loving, feeling loved cared for, respected, unconditional love, self-worth, peace. And then crossing over here, feeling capable of doing new things, feeling adventurous, feeling open-minded, feeling skilled in new projects. And then just stopping. So now I'm feeling about an eight. I can feel that I'm walking into a nine, okay? So um, I am feeling called to doing another round of that because it's important. So I'm going to keep tapping. So feeling hungry for success, feeling rejuvenated in my soul and my spiritual, feeling really like fortunate for even difficult situations, feeling feeling like I'm compromising. 
in a good way. Feeling balanced in my relationships. Feeling very content with where I am. Feeling productive in all of my projects. Feeling nourished in my skin. Feeling really safe to do new things and new projects. Feeling really supported by my friends and my coworkers and my peers and my parents and my siblings. Feeling really strong in my physical body. Feeling mentally strong. Feeling emotionally relaxed. <sighs> Feeling really calm and my nervous tension is gone. Feeling really connected to my next steps in my work and in my partnerships and family. And then just checking in. So I'm feeling a 10. Wonderful. So it's really cool how we can like keep shifting. And I think that really reminding ourselves of this is really important. So it's really great for people who struggle with gratitude. Um, just bringing yourself back into that patience aspect that I've been discussing with people lately. So um, then on the actual full moon, the 28th, we're going to be doing Reiki. So I can call in some Reiki energy for you guys and just kind of show you that. Let me know if any of this is connecting for you. I'm going straight to um, the throat here, which makes sense because if people aren't even like sharing right now, it's probably because they might not um, feel comfortable, that sort of thing. And so I'm just, just feel like really comforting the throat. So it feels, the energy feels warm as well. So it's like, I think that people that are watching right now are quite sensitive, which is fabulous. So I'm going to take the energy and I'm going to clear it. So that's kind of what Reiki is. We just like remove what's no longer serving us, kind of like theta, and then we replace it with good energy. But my heart feels like it's beating a fair amount as well. Um, so that's telling me that like there might be some fear in there still as well. So this is, I'm just doing this to get some insight, but also as we like are doing 45 minutes of this typically in our group, then, um, you're going to get some great insight, but you're also going to feel a lot better. So, but I'm just kind of like giving you guys just a little touch of this and just like a little bit of comfort, but calming, relaxing energy. Um, feeling really safe in your skin. Some people that are watching, I think, have some trauma as well. So probably why I felt guided towards working with my crystal today. Um, so with people watching, again, um, if you own crystals um, and you're feeling some of these feelings in your throat or in your heart, that sort of thing, um, take your crystal and actually do what do what I'm doing right now. Just like place it where you're, where you're feeling those sensations, and um, it's nice and cooling. I'm using selenite in particular, um, which is really great for lighting up the chakras as well, okay? And I'm also feeling like there's some people that are on technology too much, and um, holding crystals in your hand is really great for people who have a lot of stress or who have absorbed a lot of toxic and negative energy from relationship situations, family situations, financial um, depression, etc. So let's get rid of this little bit of energy there. And I'm also sensing that there's someone who's carrying a lot of energy, maybe weight in their stomach too. So um, that might mean that, again, if you're feeling a little bit sad or you have anxiety, things like that, it might mean that you're carrying like other people's emotions in your physical body as well. So that's another reason to get Reiki and clearing. I'm gonna be teaching a Reiki certification um, program with like tons of support um, coming up as well. I'm looking forward to that. So this is kind of like telling me that um, like, Lately, I've been doing a lot of yoga. And I'm also going to be teaching private yoga when things are back to, to normal as well, if you're interested. But um, yoga is really great for being able to breathe, relax, and do something physical as well at the same time. So great for mental health. So that's just something maybe to consider doing. It's not complicated. Um, there are tons of programs out there as well. Like that's where the pri private yoga can help. But like, I can even teach that to you online, but it's inching your way with the that experience. But when kind of what I was saying, grabbing the crystals, the go to, grabbing the like the emotional freedom um, technique. So if we have an appointment together, like a one on one session, that's where I could kind of like teach you and show you these things so that you develop tools and skills moving forward. Okay, 
That was super important. So I'm going to get you guys out of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So someone has like major throat chakra blocks as well. So um, when we're doing this type of healing and clearing, make sure you're, even if you're just watching this and receiving, make sure that you're drinking lots of water because that will kind of help keep moving the energy forward so you can um, just like remove it that much more and like attract things that much more because this, this kind of like takes some time in a way to like move forward but at the same time if you're sensitive which people are, that are watching are it can also come in immediately so it just depends on everybody's on like a different wavelength here but i'm getting like it's really important if you have your own healing abilities and gifts that you're that you're using them as well so again that's you can reach out to me i can like kind of coach you coach you through okay um then we have uh, the day after the full moon focus so sound healing and a guided meditation so if you've never done a guided meditation roughly what we're going to do i feel like this crystal is going to like help me right now so again if that's you grab your crystal <coughs> excuse me oh my goodness so yeah like if you're having a hard time speaking right now really like start looking that up as well especially if you're coming into the group i recommend um looking more up and doing some practice with the throat chakra and take advantage of our facebook group okay so right now we're just going to close our eyes and we're going to come into a quiet space. And so you're just going to use your imagination here. Take yourself to almost like a sleep state and allow it to be summer. And allow the sun to come out. Maybe you're on a, in a, like a hammock or lawn chair, whatever it is for you. You're fully rested. Just feeling that restful, peaceful feeling as you breathe. Just coming into this beautiful space. Noticing how nice it feels when you can drop your shoulders. And opening up your heart. And just thinking about one thing that if you could have just one thing right now in your life, what would it be? And just identifying with those feelings of having that already. And just bringing that into your energetic space. And maybe there are some waves crashing in the background. Maybe you have a nice healthy glass of water beside you. Maybe you have a bunch of healthy food near you. And just noticing the quality of the air as well around you. Just breathing in the quality, good quality air in through your lungs, in and out. We're just going to let go of any tension as we come into, into our present. Just feeling your body. Just noticing if there's any pain in your body as well. And as you breathe, just breathe into that space that might have some pain. And if you could put an emotion to that pain, what would that emotion be? And as you breathe, just seeing that energy leaving your body, seeing the pain, just lessening as you just hear your breath. Others to just kind of like open up just a tiny bit more and notice how you might be clenching your jaw or you know hanging on to things that probably aren't serving you and just remind yourself of that one thing that you said you really want and just maybe creating like a mantra for yourself today something that that you that you want to take from this so if it's like today like I have beautiful flowers in front of me and it's that I always think about to stop and smell the roses because they're like beautiful like pink roses and so so my mantra today is going to be like to stop and smell the roses and then the, the energy just got really bright here so throughout my day I'm going to remind myself to stop and smell the roses literally and if I kind of create that mantra then that's what will happen and so just feel free to share again what your mantra is and just like coming back into your space and into your into this moment so again um, i just use little tinctures here but 
I'm going to be using when I do my sound healing, like my gongs and um, my tuning forks and my um, my big sound bowl, my drum, etc. So it'd be really nice for people that need that deep healing around the full moon. All right, so I have my tea leaves here as well. Um, so we take Saturday off and then on Sunday, we're going to be do a, doing a combination of a bunch of different things, but I felt guided towards tea leaves. So if you'd like a message, just let me know and I'll uh, read, I'll read the tea leaves for you guys. I also have my little like crystal ball, which I was working with the other night. So, um, if we just go into like general, what's coming up is like the importance of cleansing and clearing. So, um, if you don't take time to cleanse and clear your energy, um, you're going to find like that impatience factor and that frustration energy that you might be feeling right now is just like really getting stuck in your energy field. That's why I was feeling that energy with the Reiki as well. Um, so what's really cool about theta healing is that we can do theta healing for physical issues that you're having and really go deeper into kind of what we were doing in the guided meditation. Like, hmm, I'm feeling this tension in my back. Why is it there? That sort of thing. And we can kind of find out if you're having a bladder infection, what is the energy underneath that? So again, um, this is just like a natural healing like tool that we can use. Of course, we do have real medical people that can help you with, with things that you're experiencing, but this is really great for people who are experiencing a lot right now, which we all are, and um, getting some like additional support. So that's why I'm offering this program for people right now, because I at the price that I'm doing it at, because I'm not going to be doing this again, and I just want to like provide that for people around the full moon, people who can um, get more introduced to group settings, because I'm going to be doing a lot more group settings. Um, and it's just a way to like get together with your like peers, I guess, and, and community and um, developing this nice, nice space for each other to kind of like grow and, and support each other, which is fabulous. So um, Kathy says, please. Okay, so okay, right away, I'm getting like healing is really important in general for you. So, um, so maybe you want to join, join our group. Um, because it feels like there's some tension in, in the stomach that way. And um, if you if you get stressed out, you might carry that in your belly. Um, I know I'm one of those people as well. So that's just something to keep in, in mind that um, like medicinal healing is would be quite powerful for you as well. So pay close attention to what you're actually putting in your physical body, because if you're sensitive, um, that's really important. I know for myself, I'm um, of course, I eat junk and things like that, but my body will not let me eat certain things because um, my body will like just it'll it'll make me sick. So that's just something to pay close attention to to like what you're actually ingesting as well, aside from um, natural healing. OK. Um, OK, Amber Friday. Hello, I would please. OK, so I'm feeling emotional right away and I'm just going to like drop the tea leaves. Keep in mind when we do group things. Every, there's a message in it for everybody. So um, I'm kind of getting like fall energy, which is strong new beginnings for you, okay? And I also feel like using your creativity and your imagination um, is really, really important because when we use our creativity, it's um, it gets us out of our head because we're actually acting on ideas and thoughts and feelings. If we're not acting on thoughts and feelings, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna think, right? So aside from yes, physical exercise is great, what we're doing with our mind and our emotions is really powerful. So I would say really start tuning into the creative projects that you want to start doing that you feel inspired to do. So really get motivated into those that new step that you're walking into, okay? And you can feel free to share how that connects to you if it does at all. I'd love one, Danica says. Okay, so right away with you, I feel like a kind of like a heaviness here, okay? So um, you know how I was just doing in the exercise for us to like drop the shoulders, open up the chest a bit more. Um, it's really important that, again, we're not walking around feeling like we have to be like super strong and super tough. We want to be like in that feminine energy as well, where we can just like breathe and relax. And, and it does feel like working more on receiving for you is really important. So be okay. If you're always the one giving, then in order to feel balanced and relaxed, you have to be equally receiving. Otherwise, you're out of balance, right? So receiving is super important right now so that you can be in that nurturing feminine energy that's very vulnerable and open because I know you're in, you're in one of my programs that um, 
that you're working on, you know, being very vocal and about like, about like health and, and wellness and that sort of thing. I know you do your own healing too. So it's so important that you're able to just feel safe in your own, in your own energy to be able to like, just be yourself 100%. So I know when you're tired and you're stressed, it makes it hard, but this is just saying like, it's kind of time to just like be, be in an energy where you can just like fully 100% get back what you're putting out. Okay. So try not to think about everybody else right now. That's what I would encourage. I'd love a message. Okay, Sheena. I want to go to my ball for you. Sheena, Sheena, Sheena. So again, in our, in our, on our Sunday, it's called freedom. And so we're skipping Saturday. If I didn't say that already, I think I did, but, um, so it's going to be a combination of what people want. And I just know coming on here that that's what I was feeling called to, but it's going to be all about you guys and what you want. So, and again, guys, let me know if any of this connects for you. Um, I'm getting some worrying Sheena. So, and it kind of feels like there's like some old energy that might be still stuck in you. So theta healing would be great. And what I mean by stuck in you, it's like, does feel like family related. Um, there could be past life stuff in there too. Um, and it just feels like it's time to like come back into where your own energy of where you really want to be and just being really super honest with yourself. So I would get clear on what it is that you deep, 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 deep down want. So, um, ancestral healing would be really beautiful for you as well. Um, but it does feel like there's just like, yeah, just, um, the grounding and the calming energy. So like the sound healing, the meditation for you is quite nice as well. Okay. Um, and Reiki's of course, beautiful. So maybe you want to join that, that program. I think you would definitely benefit from even just, even just like one day of it for that price. Um, and, and if you do want to get an Akashic records reading done as well, that might be beneficial. It does. I've been working, Amber says, I've been working hard on my creative content as a multimedia journalist. Okay. Amazing. So yeah, it's funny cause I was going to, um, bring up in general for the group with, with writing is really, really helpful, especially Danica's energy too. And she knows like everybody's great. So I'm glad that that, um, connects with, connects with you. It's, it's. I would say it's your calling, right? But it's just like, sometimes it's really difficult to get motivated and inspired. I know that as um, a person who's self-employed, it's, I have to constantly have like coaching and all this stuff and stuff going on. So, okay. I think that that's it. So what we're going to do is integrate all of that and give you a general feeling. And if you want that, just say yes. Um, so for people in general, just a great idea, um, is to, we've talked about mantras, but we can do a, a couple, um, I am statements as well, which is, um, more about being present. So, um, if you want more of this as well, go onto my Robin's healing page. Okay, great. So we have like, we have someone just be mindful that there are people, sometimes they come on here. And say inbox me, which this person's doing right now, okay? So I'm going to block them. I'm going to delete them. But I just want to share this before I go, that if you get a weird message from ba 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 it's just this person that's not me, that's somebody that you don't know. Okay? So I would not respond. And um, I appreciate everybody for coming. Our I am statement is going to be, I am present. And again, I was saying you can go over to Robin's Healing and get more insight on, on my program, get more healing as well. Um, so I am present and then breathing that in. I am protected. I am loved and just really breathing that in. And we're going to do a little nostril breathing as well. So you can breathe, take your thumb. One nostril, breathe in on one side, hold it, and then on the other side, take your middle finger and then breathe out with that nostril. So breathing in through that nostril, holding it, and then breathing out. One more time. And then, out. and I would continue that flow and rhythm as well as you're getting off of this call. 
again, drinking lots of water, maybe journaling, just expressing what else comes out. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have an awesome day and definitely uh, reach out to me and join, sign up for our program. You're going to love it. It's great. And it's just like a, a perfect opportunity for people who maybe are feeling some, some of this stuff that I'm discussing. Okay. And same with if you're watching the replay, no worries. I can relate to that message. What's the records reading you mentioned? Okay. So Akashic records is, um, when I go into, um, into your records, which is like, Google for the soul. So what we can do is we can ask questions and then we can, we can find out what's, what's really like going on from past life. We do um, current regressions. We do future readings. We do EFT. We do inner child work, forgiveness work, um, ancestral healing. Um, like these are all the things that we learn when we go into the records, um, card readings, etc. So it's basically you get what you need when we when we go into that space. So if you come with any questions, so um, basically, I've really worked on like reoccurring dreams, um, a lot of ancestral healing for me, a lot of throat chakra um, blocks, a, just a lot of like family stuff, a lot of business things, um, things that I feel like I meant to meant to do so when I'm when I'm in the records I was able to kind of like release a lot of um really old stuff so it's um it's kind of like whatever you get whatever you need but there are different tools and techniques that I that I use during that session and again you're the one in charge but at the same time like the records are going to kind of like give you answers and and help you decide some things okay Hope that makes sense. If you want to book a 30 minute uh, consultation with me as well, it's free. So if you do have questions like similar to what are, what are the Akashic records when I'm not in a group situation like that, then we can book a call. We can actually discuss it and just see if we're a good fit for each other. And um, you know, how would, how we would kind of sort it out for you. And I could explain it a lot better. Um, I might do a YouTube video um, on that as, as well. Okay. So you're welcome. Have a beautiful day. Thanks, guys.